Okay, are the Anakum the same as the Anunnaki? That is a good question. The answer is no. Are they related in history? Absolutely. So, let me explain. Okay, first of all, English translations of the Old Testament Torah are not really, really accurate. If you really under, want to understand the references to the Anakim and what was happening, like in Genesis chapter 14, uh, when the Anak when the uh, in 13, when the Anakim, uh, well, you wouldn't even know. Oh, the only the only references you probably know of the Anakim are those that actually translated the word "sons of Anak" or Anakim for you to see, and then it describes them as giants and the Israelites like grasshoppers. But I'm going to tell you something. Anakim, the Anakim as a race of people appear more often than you know in the Old Testament. But the translators left, left them as something else. Now, there is a story in, in the Torah, in Genesis, when Lot was in trouble and, Gen and, and King Kedalaramor of the Elamites had conquered Babylon and conquered several cities and then he went and fought against the cities of the plain and he defeated the Zuzums which were a race of giants. He defeated the Zamzumums and the, Zu the Zuzums, the Zamzumums, the Emums, the Horums, uh, the Anakum and the Raphael. All five races of giants and two sub-races of giants were all mentioned in one chapter. Kedalaramor of Edom with, with Amraphel of of uh, Shinar and uh, Tidal, uh, I can't remember where he's from, but he's a Hittite, and Shinar was Babylon. So uh, anyway, he came to this huge consortium. Well, Lot sent for for his 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 uh, uncle Abraham, and when he sent for Abraham, Abraham came with three hundred and fifteen servants. These three. 315 servants and Abraham's household joined together with Mamre the Amorite and his host, a very small collection of people to fight a consortium of armies, but they conquered them because they took them by surprise. However, if you use a, like, like my, when I was in, in prison, the main Bible I used was a Hebrew Greek key study Bible with lexicons in Aramaic and Hebrew, edited by Spiros Zadhiades. I, I love that Bible. And one thing I learned in that Bible is from the key coding system is that in English, things are not what they seem. When you read that verse, the transliteration of that verse in, in Hebrew, you find that it wasn't servants, it was anakim sons of Anak. This makes sense now how a small group of people, 315 allied to Abraham's household servants and soldiers and Mamre the Amorite and how they came together and slaughtered the the empire or imperial army of King Ketolaramor and his vassals the Hittites and Babylonians because the Anakim were giants. But Genesis, you can't get that from the text of Genesis, it's in English. And in English, he just says servants. Uh, he brought 315 servants, but he didn't. He brought 315 giants. Now, if you remember, this was still shortly after the vapor canopy collapsed. We still have titans in the world who are hundreds of years old that lived on the other side of the flood, and they still had those vapor canopy genetics. Their children were first generation and they still had post vapor canopy genetics. Their children's children and then some of the titans were intermarrying with some of their own daughters and granddaughters. You understand? The genetic line, the genetic lines of giants, how five races of giants could be could be existing 360 years after the flood. That's when this happened. So yes, the Anakim the Anakim were related are related to Anunnaki in the fact that they were gigantic and they were their ultimate origin of the dynasty was before the flood, before the vapor canopy collapsed. However, the Anakim were very different. The sons of Anak are very different from the Rephaim, which were called the unresurrected ones, the Emums, which were called terrors, the Zamzumums and the Zuzums, I can't remember, they're called beasts or something, but Four of those races of Nephilim were described as beasts and animals, gigantic people, but they were feral. 
not the sons of Anak. The sons of Anak built cities. They were civilized. They were artistic. They are they are called because one of their chief leaders was called Tamahu, was called uh, Talmai. In Egyptian, that translates to Hem Tamahu. The Egyptian temple of Karnak has racial por portraits of the Tamahu, and they are way bigger and taller than anybody anybody else in the in the Karnak in the Karnak reliefs. And the temple of Karnak has reliefs of every every genotype in the ancient world and what they wore and everything. It's very interesting. So the Tamahu from Talmai, the sons of Anak, the historical record is very clear. The Anakim were descended from Arba. But we have old records when you when you chase these and the, the Jewish Haggadoth and the Talmud and and, and uh, the like the Targum of Benjamin and we read these, you ultimately find out that the Anakim were a race of giants descended straight from Noah. Noah and his wife Nama did not stop having sons and daughters. As titans born before the flood, they were still virile after the vapor canopy collapse. This is the reason why in the story of Kronos castrating his father Uranus, Uranus is Ur-Anu, Anu is Noah, it's the same guy. He got castrated after the flood by his grandson because they had to stop him from having children because the Titans were getting upset that the Gigantes were multiplying against them. No one never stopped having sons. His sons were having sons, this huge race of people. But normal, normal sized humans found this as a threat 360 years later. And there was a major multicultural war all against the giants, trying to eradicate them. And this was 40 years after Noah had been castrated. Uranus was castrated by, uh, what's his name? But anyway. I wrote a book. It's free. You can go to our, you can go to archaics.com. All this story is told in a, a mighty hunter before mighty hunter before the Lord, uh, a mighty hunter of world mythology. It is the story of Nimrod and the giants. Uh, Nimrod's identity is Amar Udaak in the Sumerian text, which translates in Babylon. In the Akkadian was Merodach. In, Mar, in, in Babylonian was Marduk, and in Hebrew it was Nimrod. It's all from the same same root to rebel. This whole history that I'm telling you right now is in a free book I provide in PDF files. It's on archaics.com. Go to Chronicon, scroll down, and you'll see a free book called uh, Mighty Hunter of World Mythology, and it's about Nimrod and the Giants. So, hope that answers your question. You'll find a lot of information about the Anakim in that book.